Right now at midday, new details in that weekend shooting where seven people were shot in Norfolk. Two of them died. For the very first time, we're hearing from the man who owned that house on Killam Avenue where the deadly violence took place. So let's get straight to 10 on your side to Andy Fox, who's live in Norfolk with that interview. Again, you'll only see it on 10. Andy. Yeah, this morning we are piecing together exactly what happened out here at 5005 Saturday night into Sunday morning. We are now hearing from the property owner. This is video from early Sunday morning, today only on 10. We found the property owner who tells us people he rents to were traveling. It's believed someone who knows them knew that they would be gone and decided to have a party. The property owner, Dietrich Heider, tells us what he understood happened. First, there was an unauthorized break-in. Then every person who entered that property was a trespasser. Then evidently, they all had guns and started shooting. So this is a crime. When you heard what happened, when did you first find out? Sunday morning, I started getting texts when it hit the news. And now that it has happened, what do you think? I mean, how does it make you feel? Do you feel violated? We're living in a world that is not safe and we have to come to grips with the fact that it seems like everybody's got a gun in their pocket and that's not a good thing. Who needs to go out drinking and bring a gun with them to a party? Not a good person. Hyder also told us that one person was killed inside towards the back of the property and then a second person was killed out here on the grass. Uh, the tenants who had been traveling, they were not here at the time we are told by the property owner, they are no longer going to be tenants here. Uh, Hyder has decided to terminate the lease. Uh, they still need to come here to get their belongings. We continue to work this story and we will have more for you coming up tonight on Wavy News 10 at 4, 5, and 6. That's the latest from Norfolk. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side. Andy, thank you. We're continuing our coverage of the mass shooting in Norfolk with information from that night scanner traffic. Yeah, based on sound from police scanners, ODU police first responded to the scene after hearing gunshots near the area around 1150 Saturday night. There was such an influx of victims in Norfolk at the time of the shooting. Sentara Norfolk General Hospital locked down the level one trauma center. The trauma center reopened about an hour after it went into lockdown. Norfolk police have not released details about a suspect. If you know anything about this case that could help police find a suspect, call the crime line or use the P3 tips app.